Your wait is over! The Yolo Box original gets its biggest update ever! Livestream 360 cam spin flip box by JLN says, Hello sir, I hope there is a chance you would do a review on the newest updates of the first Yolo Box. Thank you! I am about to test the 30 new features in the Yolo Box original which can be found on the Yolo Box Pro. Be sure to check out the description below to watch all my reviews on the Yolo Box and the Yolo Box Pro. What's new in Yolo Box version 3.7.6? Let's tap on OK. The update took only 30 seconds. Monitor mode. Monitor and switch without internet required. For this test, let me go into my account settings. Go to Wi-Fi. Turn off the internet connection. Go back to the main page and start a new session. Now, there is a monitor mode. That means the Yolo box becomes a video switcher for projection to an external monitor or for internal recording. Stream and record with fixed frame rate. For that, we have to go into the settings, encoding settings. Now we can fix our frame rate to 20 FPS, 24, 25, 29.97, or 30 frames per second for both recording and streaming. It will be great if I can have 60 frames per second as well. Animated countdown timer overlay with two pre-made designs. This is inside the overlay panel. Add a new overlay. In addition to image overlays and lower thirds, we now have countdown timer. There are two pre-made designs. I think I like the red and white one. We can customize the look of our countdown timer as well as set the duration. Tap on done. And now we can add the countdown anytime into the stream. I've been using this animated countdown timer in every stream on the Yolo Box Pro. Two videos from SD card and scoreboard countdown timer. Hey, that's two features in one sentence. Previously, when we add a video source, we could only add one video from the SD card. Now we can add a second video from the SD card. You noticed in this demo, I haven't plugged in any cameras yet, but now I can switch between the two videos from the SD card. Does that mean I can do 24 hour live streaming? This is another countdown timer, but this time inside the scoreboard. To activate the scoreboard countdown timer, go into the scoreboard panel, activate scoreboard display, activate time, activate countdown, set the time, and set it maybe to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, tap on done, OK, and press play. There, the countdown starts to count down. Comments Overlay Styling On the yellow box, we can select any viewer comment to show on the screen. The new feature here is that we can customize the look of the comment overlay. Just go to the Comments panel and tap on the Comments settings. There are a few templates to choose from. My favorite is the first one. We can customize the font, the color, the transparency, the size, as well as the position. How does that look? Record whole live stream without being split. Yolo Box has the ability to record videos while we are streaming. Go into the settings panel, scroll down to recording limits. Previously, our files are recorded in pieces. Now, we can record a video file continuously. Although there's a little warning here, to prevent losing the complete recording due to unexpected interruptions, we suggest you choose the defaulted 
10 minute option. So what do you think? Should we take the risk? Adjust screen brightness. I love this new cool feature. Just swipe down from the top and I see a brightness adjustment. Go down to make the screen dimmer. Go up to make the screen brighter. Adjust video transition duration. On the yellow box, when we switch from one camera to another camera, it straight away cuts from one scene to the other. From the settings panel, we can add a video transition effect. Out of the 10 video transition effect, my favorite is the simple fade. By default, the video transition duration is about 1 second. Now we can adjust the duration from 0 0.5 seconds to up to 3 seconds. Look. Ooh, see how it slowly fades in. Adjust rolling caption speed. Inside the overlay panel, when we tap on the plus button, we can add lower thirds. Among the ready-made templates, there is a rolling caption. The caption rolls across the screen at a constant speed. We can now vary the scrolling speed. 0.5 times will be as slow as a snail. At 3 times the speed, I think that looks better for a quick message. Up to 50,000 kbps for recording on monitor mode. Let's go back to monitor mode. Go into settings. Scroll down to encoding setting. We can now record videos at a bitrate of up to 50,000 kbps. That's great if I'm going to edit my videos in higher quality. Flip screen upside down. To flip the screen upside down, we have to go back to the main page and tap on the account settings. Inside account settings, scroll down to screen rotate. Tap on OK. Now, we can have our cables phasing downwards. Live stream to Facebook RTMPS is supported under single platform stream mode. Honestly, I don't know about this feature because I never stream in single platform mode. But anyway, right now in single platform streaming mode, we can go to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch and any RTMP platforms. What is single platform streaming mode? <music> streaming mode is now defaulted as direct single platform stream. This is the only update which I don't like. Whenever I turn on the yellow box, it goes straight into single platform stream mode. That's not what I got the yellow box for. I want to go multi-stream to multiple platforms. Every time when I use the Yolo Box or Yolo Box Pro, I have to go into settings, go into streaming mode, and manually switch over to Yolo Live's multi streaming service. That means our video will go through Yolo Live's server where they will distribute to the multiple platforms from their end. Whereas in the single platform streaming mode, our video goes direct to the platform. Did I say 13 features at the beginning? I guess there are 14 and more. Check out my reviews on the Yolo Box and Yolo Box Pro in the description below. Leave your comments and questions and like and share this video. If you haven't done so, subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from Videolane.com. See you in the next one.